Hello there, what's up YouTubers again? Um, so, um, much thanks to, to this book about how to, um, how to go to Switzerland, Switzerland, Netherlands and Belgium. Although this book um, got published in year two, 2000 and um, year 2004, September, it contains, it still contains information I found, you know, highly useful and informative, which led me to, um, you know, to a, to a journal, well, not exactly a journal uh, article, but something like that, on um, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Um, it has a document that, um, you know, details, um, you know, the, the collective data um, gathered from developing countries. You know, in, in fact, this paper is, is, is titled um, Scholarships for Students from Developing Countries, Establishing a Global Baseline. So, yeah, I found an in interesting fact, um, uh, an allegedly interesting fact about the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Apparently, they are still supporting, um, or at least they are still kind of um, bestowing um, scholarships to students from developing countries, and that include, um, that include but are not limited to, 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 to countries like China, which means I might still, st my, I might um, still um, stand a, a slim chance to head to Europe relatively cost effectively without cost, without having to spend the deal. Um, I suppose this, um, this doc, um, such doc document may also prove highly useful for those you know who um who might have you know just you know dropped out of uni and uh, um have no have yet found their purpose and meaning of their existence um and uh, kind of got disoriented um with their lives and uh, you know don't know what to do uh, you know also further characterized by you know, going to bed late after jerking off to porno and, uh, you know, playing um, video games, um, falling victim to symptoms of a typical hikikomori or neat. Um, I, I, I believe at least such document will um, serve its purpose, at least, you know, um, serve its purpose of providing you know a detailed information as to how to how to apply and acquire scholarships um though yeah they are issuing um scholarships um, apparently they seemed they seem to be still bestowing or issuing scholarships to to students from developing countries like china I believe it can also apply to um, you know to youths to to young men who just you know you know in developed countries like Great Britain France who don't you know have um, much funds to support themselves um, and uh, you know do bear in mind that in you know generally speaking scholarships um, are granted. You know, to you, to um, to um, students. You know, not um, just in order to support their studies, their academic undertakings, but also their you know to cover their daily expenses. Which means you can pretty much um, spend you know um, such money. Um, on you know, 
how um however you you want as it as far as i'm concerned so um um so for the sake of uh accuracy and completeness i i would like to and uh, also for the sake of uh trying to um overcome and minimize my stuttering if not completely neutralize it i'm i'm, I'm gonna read um some expert um ex explicit sorry how 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 do i pronounce that sorry i just forget how to pronounce it uh over and over this word except oh i'm just gonna read some excerpts from this doc document um yeah so for the sake of completeness and accuracy and uh all authenticity of my research and effort so without further ado let's begin scholarships for students from developing countries establishing a global baseline by institutes by institute of international education 2016 national united nations educational scientific and cultural organization also apparently co-developed this document with global education monitoring report abstract with the goal of mon of informing progress towards target 4.b small b of the sdgs the over the over arcing arcing purpose of this paper is to assess the current state of global data on scholarships available at tertiary level for in individuals from developing countries in addition to assessing the, the data the analysis explore, explores the feasibility of creating a baseline against which future progress towards target 4.b can be monitored at the global level a broad range of scholarship programs sponsored by government institutions non-profit non -profit organizations and corporations were reviewed in order to inform the analysis identify challenges and propose solutions data gaps are especially apparent with regard to the na national origins and socio demographic characteristics of scholarship recipients in addition to providing a framework for organizing and monitoring these programs the paper provides recommendations for the steps that can be put in place in order to ensure better data collection on the provision of scholarships for students from the develop developing world footnote number one um introduction the newly established sustainable development goal four on education aims to ensure inclusive and quality education for all that for all and to promote lifelong learning target four point b of the goal as aspires to increase support um target b target four point b of the goal aspires to quote unquote quote unquote increase support for scholarships available to the developing countries footnote number two despite despite the establishment of this new and important target which aims to hold developed countries accountable accountable for providing educational opportunities to the developing world there exists there exists insufficient data on the amount of aid provided by developed countries towards higher education scholarships for students from developing countries as well as the key socio-demographic and economic backgrounds of scholarship recipients 
to address these data gaps and assess the feasibility of developing a methodology for tracking such scholarships globally. This paper reviews scholarships provided during, during the um, 2014 to 2015 academic year by the government of developed countries to support the outward mobility of tertiary level students from developing countries while other non-governmental sources of scholarships such as corporations and private foundations were also examined for the purposes of this paper the data pertaining to these scholarships is not included in generating a baseline for measuring progress towards target 4.b since the focus of the latter is on government funded scholarships also small small scale scholarships offered by higher education institutions were not included in the data collection efforts because these offerings tend to vary in scope and nature and the source of funds is not always clear so, um, do you think I should continue? Um, I, I'm just gonna skip what um, that doesn't seem so so you know in, in, in important to our undertakings to my with, to this content creation at the moment. So I'm just gonna find. I'm just gonna read um, further. Um, conclusions on this document and some some some, some other yeah appendix appendix oh jesus here is where the gold mine gold pot lie so in fact on page 20 sorry on you know in the appendix on page 21 to page 20 20 what 20 26 you will find you know pr pretty much all the major um sources of scholarships um you know um sponsors and those who pro you know those entities that fund the scholarship programs um which i believe should also serve their purposes of uh, um supporting and uh you know sustaining you know um those you know supporting and sustaining you know the academic undertakings and voyage of those who who you know who just can't afford to 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 go to college to study at a uni um not just for you know not just not exclusively exclusively for students who who come from developing countries or economies like like china um i'm going to include some of these you know some some information you know extracted from these from from this appendix I'm not sure if it would violate anybody's copyright or anything, so I'm just gonna try to make it um, lo um, to make it lo look like um, fair use as much as I can. And uh, yeah, let's. If you don't mind, I would like to read another paragraph. Um, findings. Yeah, part five of this dot this document findings of the total 111 scholarship programs identified during our desk research that either that either targeted students from developing countries or targeted students from all countries including developing countries 60 were funded by government entities Given the focus of Target 4.B programs offered by developing countries, only four there were lim eliminated. Thus, this list was further limited to 45 program programs offered by developing countries, only for 
for their for their oops sorry thus this list was further lim limited to 40 40 54 programs that were offered by both developed developed and developing countries this mm, the this subset of programs forms the basis for the subsequent analysis and proposed baseline. Figure 1 illustrates the process used to arrive at this subset of 40, 54 programs. Of these 54 programs funded by governments of developed and developing economies, approximate, approximately 24 or 44% identified did not indicate the total number of awards that were provided for their recipients in the past year. year that, it, that says year 2014 to um, 2015. Or the total number of awards that are anticipated for the upcoming year. However, when using the donor country rather than the program as the unit of as the unit of analysis, the majority of countries, 84% providing aid to fund international students, did have some level of data regarding the number of awards anticipated or historically provided to scholarship recipients per year. In other words, many countries do have do um do have some scholarship programs in place that monitor recip re recipient level data to a to a certain extent, but this only holds true for nearly half of the total programs found. So, figure one, as we can see, we have such um, rudimentary re represent representation of how. Um, you know how they selected scholarship programs for analysis or anything anyway you know i just um i i, I hope my i hope the texts i just read you know that doesn't bore you that much um i i just I would like to make this video as some kind of a precursor to to a to a patreon exclusive video i reckon i am about to make I'm about to create as to you know how to how to survive as a you know how to not just to survive but how to thrive as a uni dropout dude in the 21st century even during this pan pandemic. So um, which means while um, while before I I formally um, commenced um, producing the main video I have to do some warm-ups just, just like um, you know just like um, you know training sessions at gyms at you know or you know before you pro you know you proceed to more um, strenuous exercises at any given lo location um, or any sort of uh, military training or drills we have to um, we have to continue practicing um, so that we can get closer closer and closer to the facts and truths and so also in the meantime we we must um, you know fuel the jet um, while we still can. Um, sorry, just got a bit of more sidetracked, but um, though you don't see it, but I did. Sorry, no, but though, though you didn't see it, I did got set sidetracked. Sorry about. It. I beg your pardon for my grammatical mistake. Um, yeah, so, so 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 I hope this video could serve its purpose of inspiring more people to work with me um you know when it comes to you know how how we should draft a survival plan to thrive as uni dropouts 
um, and uh, also I hope you know we can we wish we, we can and we should take more a actions while we plan our actions um, as you know said as it was said by Uncle Grant Cardone in his book 10x rules commit first before you know commit first figure out later um, yet you know we with such yeah let's say let's say for instance me myself I, I, I currently possess a limited amount of funds to to fund my own studies and travels and living expenses you know um, so I have to and uh, currently um, with with the premature demise of my old man I have to um, make sure that I succeed in one one single attempt um, I have no room for errors or mistakes so I hope you guys can understand that and uh, yeah and so should you um, if you 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 have found you have found yourself um, stranded in a similar situation, um, like I do. So I hope um, th this video can truly serve its purpose of acting as a precursor to inspire people, to inspire people, including myself. So um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you you enjoy this video as well and uh, um, stay faithful stay tuned thank you again very much for watching and listening to to my videos and paying attention to my channel and um, you know worrying about how I have been doing um, you your comments shall always make a huge difference even you know no 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 matter how seem you know no 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 matter um how trivial they might seem um at first glance so yeah thanks again take care good day or good night and uh last but not least cheers and Hold the line. Bye-bye.